it's wonderful to be back and have an evening where we just celebrate all within England athletics that make it happen in terms of awards for our regional coaches, our regional officials. Um, so we've all come together this evening to celebrate and won big national awards here in Leicester. So looking forward to it and induct our 2024 class into the Hall of Fame. Tonight's going to be a wonderful occasion as always. I'm chair of England Council and so of course the volunteers are key to me, they're integral to our sport. I had the pleasure of going to two of the regional award ceremonies this year and it was humbling as always to listen to the stories, whether that be officials, coaches, team managers or any other volunteer in our sport. Today will be just as humbling and so I'm sure it'll be a great evening. Tonight is a special occasion to celebrate the contribution that so many make to our sport. It brings together many people from different sections of the athletics and running family and it promises to be a great evening. So many familiar faces in the room. But we are delighted to have the under 18 winner who simply had an outstanding year. Phoebe Gill, please join us on the stage. Harbour AC, can we welcome Club Secretary Howard Crabtree to the stage? You know, every training session, they're always trying to strive for that a little bit better. So that keeps the coaches on the toes and uh, feeds into the senior groups as well. Our national newcomer to volunteering winner is Charlotte Phillips. It's really awesome to be able to just be part of such an important community and athletics is so grassroots that like, you know everyone involved is really, really passionate about it and they're not there for the fame or the money, they're there because they really care. And I'd like to invite on stage the winners of the BASC Coach of the Year, the M11 Track Club, Trevor Painter and Jenny, Me Jenny Meadows. So myself and Leonard are ready. Let's make a start with the inductions for the class of 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, Lorna Booth, come on up. You're our first inductee. I mean, to get recognized for something that I love, um, that I have a passion, it just gives me a buzz. And, and I mean, it, does, it means the world to me to be recognized. Stan Greenberg, you're a legend, is a worthy addition into the England Athletics Hall of Fame. We are in the presence of athletics knowledge greatness. I mean, he's just pulled it out there. His first day of athletics was watching the Olympic Games in 1948. There isn't a single person in this room who's got more knowledge and passion than Stan. Nicola, please come and join me on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny and Trevor, please come and join us. Walking around that Olympic stadium in Paris was uh, something special. It was like, we're treating it like it was a sports day, not an Olympic. So it was uh, kind of weird, really, that all the success came together. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Whitehead, our final inductee of the evening. I wanted to change the world around Paralympic sport and it's about changing yourself to have an impact on the world and hopefully I've done that with my performances and obviously very grateful for the support. It's wonderful to be able to recognise inspiration. Through athletics we are able to make a difference to individuals, to families and to communities all the way across England, including so many local volunteers, coaches, athletes, officials and supporters help people from four to 94 achieve their dreams and realize their potential. Thank you.